So one of the questions I get asked all the time is doing SEO inside of Shopify. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a demo on actually how to go in and add your keywords and your meta tags and your descriptions to your products, your pages, and collections so that they are optimized the best that they can for, uh, for Google. Now Shopify already does quite a bit of SEO for your website when it first starts off. It has Google rich snippets in it. It does your descriptions really well. If you've written your content nicely in your content pane, it will copy it down into the SEO. But this is really more for if you want to really drill into specific keywords uh, for using your site. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into products. And I'm going to pick a product. So we have our 14-hour bucket um, with our theme attached. And we've got a nice description about it and our title. Uh, we've got a little button in there as well and our pricing. But if we go down to the bottom, we can see we've got this area down here called search engines. The search engines, this is where you want to be adding your keywords for your meta descriptions as well as your titles. So <clears throat> the title tag here, we have 14-hour buckets with kids theme. 15 and 1590 we might actually want to change this title tag so um, when they go to the product page they can get um, e-commerce starter pack for Shopify so now when Google looks at it and we have our Google people going through or Google search going through they're gonna get more relevant keywords than just a product title um, meta description this comes directly from the description that's written above. This is actually, I'm very happy with the way this has gone. So your store is almost ready. You need a few last tweaks to get to the finish line. The start of the bucket is perfect for you. We can help you get going. So we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of this last little bit because they're not complete. We're gonna just change this, we can help. So now if we save that, and we go and we look at the product in our store, we can see that the title tag across the top has changed the, um, the, the tab so that it now pulls it up nicely when we get to um, in, in Google, as well as if we look at the code, so if we go into page source, we can see the description tag, your store is almost ready, you just need the last few tweaks to get to the finish line, the starter bucket is perfect for your, for your. So I need to actually fix that, uh, we can help. So let's get rid of the end part here, because we don't need the you can help, uh, perfect for you, nice and short. It's the same keywords that are in my description tag. And then we can go back over here and refresh it. And we can see that it's now updated our keywords as well as our title tag. So um, from a search engine point of view, this website is now optimized the best that it can. Now we can also go and do some other things uh, when it comes to uh, alt tags. Alt tags are tags that are going on images. So if I go to a product, let's go to this one here that actually has an image. We can click on this little alt tag down here, and we can change the image alt tag. Now, sometimes in Shopify, we use these alt tags in order to swap out images, um, depending on when they select their variant. So if they select a different color, and we want it to switch to the different color. For this case, because I only have one, I actually want to use it for SEO purposes. So I'm going to call this starter bucket, e-commerce. Actually, let's call this e-commerce. Startup. So we get the keywords for e-commerce startup. If they go and they search for that, it'll it'll pull up that image, and we'll we'll get some references from there. So that's for products. Uh, collections done very same way. So if you go back into a collection, so I have this collection for all my products, and I come down and I see my page title here. So I'm actually going to go e-commerce startup products. Actually, let's change this. Um, let's change this to get your store online today. And then we're going to give a description of this collection. Perfect. Save. And away we go. So now this collection is optimized. So we can do products, we can do collections, we can also do pages. So if we have pages that describe some of the stuff that are on our site, for example, why choose us, we can go in. Uh, I've already gone and optimized these ones, but it's in the same place, search engines as well. So you want to go and do your products, your collections, 
and your pages when it comes to SEO. If you go through doing all that, as well as the alt tags for your images, you'll have a very nicely optimized site and you should rank higher in the Google search engines.